All right, so this is a review on the album The Miseducation of Lauren Hill uh, by Miss Lauren Hill. Um, so this was released back in 1998. Can you believe that? 1998, you know. Well, I was like 10, bruv. That's mad. Literally, like, literally t like 10 and a month old, basically. Yeah, roughly that. Anyway, so there's basically 16 tracks, and I believe this is our only debut album, our only solo album. The artwork, let's get to the artwork real quick. So, the artwork, it kind of reminds me of, um, I think Nas had something similar as well, but not really. Um, but also, which I find because you got a tree with Nas as well on that, on that same album I'm thinking of. And then, there's another thing, I think it's Bob Marley's album, one of these albums. I can't remember, it just reminds me of that. Or is it a Shea Guerrero, Shea, Shea Guerrero um, post I'm thinking of? I don't know, there's something about it, just, just the way it's, the way her face is, like, drawn or artistically done, whatever, you know what I mean? That's what it kind of reminds me of, and the backdrop is kind of like orangey, brownish type of colour. So, yeah, me the artwork is dope still. Um, and it's like on a wooden thing. I don't explain it. I don't know what that measures of the background, but forgive me, because, you know, I've got to make do with what I've got, what I've got, right? Anyway, so, there's basically 16 tracks in here. So there's the intro, then there's uh, Lost Ones, then there's X Factor, then there's To Zion, then the, which is rich in um, Santana, then there's Do Up That Thing, then there's Superstar, then there's Final Hour, then When It Hurts So Bad, then there is I Used To Love Him, pause. Then there is, and that's featuring Mary J. Blige. Typical, innit? Any song we made, anyway, don't, we won't get to that. And then there's every ghetto, every city. Then there's nothing, nothing even matches which is the Angelo. Then there's everything is everything. Then there is the miseducation of Lauren Hill, the absolute song. And then there is tell him which is live. So the one thing about this this album which is very intriguing to me is, in fact, I I need to pull this up because. Now I don't. Yeah, I've got to be careful, kid, because I don't want to get copyright in here, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's one of the reasons why I don't really play the songs, you know what I mean? Because I would, if I could. I just don't want to get copyright. I know there's the difference between me playing, um, when I do reaction videos, that's different, because I'm able to manipulate the system, basically. But with this, I still need to fi figure out a way. Um, yeah, so... um. Yeah, I just seen something really interesting that I was supposed to do. Um, okay, I'll, I'll do it later. Um, in fact, no, I can talk about it now actually because I saw a notification basically of um, SB and I believe he's a female rapper, which is interesting because this album has influenced so many female artists, yeah, and so many um, people regard Lauren Hill as the one of the best um, female rappers. This is interesting considering she only had one solo album. Okay, yes, he was in the refuge, uh, not refugees, in the fugees. But it's like, how do you, you know what I mean? It's like, how do you determine who's best and who's not if they haven't really had that much body of work? Do you know what I mean? Like, this is no disrespect to Lauren Hill because I think she's cold. And even some of her songs, they remind me of certain, like, put it this way, I know it's wrong to stereotype people, yeah? But, um, I believe she, um, what am I going to say? I know it's, uh, yeah, I know it's fun to, to stereotype people, but you can tell who would listen to this type of album just by the way they dress. Like, the type of, for me personally, I've always clocked it. This is just from my experience. Women that dress in a certain way and how they talk and what they talk about, like the more conscious or more, more aware they are about life and all that stuff there and the things that they know that they operate from a high frequency they tend to to like this album like that that's it is what it is do you know what i mean i don't fault them because i kind of like that i respect that but um 
I'm trying to pull up, so put up the thing. Anyway, basically, I bet to mention other girls as well. There was, so the album title itself is from the book, uh, The Miseducation of the Negro, which I still need to read um, by, G, for, by Carter G. Woodson, which is interesting because um, um, he, he's basically the founder of Black History Month. The first was at, um, History Negro Week, then it turned into a Black History Month. So now we can change it to Black History every day of the every day. In fact, I would rather we just turn it into a situation where we celebrate history as a whole, but we're also including what's happening with Black people as well. Do you know what I mean? Like within it, because let's be real. Like the car, if it wasn't for, it's like. It's a black man, I can't remember which, which guy it was, but it was a black man that invented the car. But it was Henry Ford that invented the, the plant system where, you know what I mean, able to duplicate and all that stuff there. Um, anyway, there's something that happened with this album. Um, he sold a million in a million in Japan. Wow, that's amazing. He sold two, two times platinum in Europe, uh, three times platinum in the UK. This had a great effect on um, the Neo Soul sound as well. You know, India Sean admired Lauren Hill's miseducation. Everyone does. So basically, Lauren Hill becomes the first female rapper to have a diamond album. She's the first female ever, or f female ever, first female rapper to have a diamond album. Yeah, the miseducation of Lauren Hill had reached diamond status. Yeah, this article was released back in February 17, 2021. Yeah, so imagine this is her solo album, her only solo studio album, and it's gone diamond. So imagine if she released an album now, another album. Talk about long overdue. She's on some Sade shit, releasing an album every 10 years. But anyway, so basically, Lauren Hill's 1998 debut, The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill, has sold over 10 million units, making her the first female rapper to have a diamond album. The Recording Industry Association of America announced the impressive feat on Tuesday evening, February the 16th, and officially welcomed Hill to the elite standing. You know what I mean? So, um, so it's 10 times certified album now. Um, so yeah, I'm, and... Other artists, other artists' diamond albums include Michael Jackson's Thriller, of course, because he sold over 130 plus a million. <laughs> like, 100. And, that's the best selling album ever. No one's topping that. I don't care. Nobody's topping that. Um, nobody. Especially nowadays because of your now streaming music. Like, that, that was the era of actually physically buying music. You know what I mean? But anyway, um,. Anyway, let's get back on, on point. So basically, there's some points of the of the the, the, the song, I'm sorry, the album, whatever, the interlude, they're asking what is love, this, that, and the third. And they had like, basically, it seemed like there was kids in class or whatever. And then um, there were some, some that made like relevant points. I mean, they made some good points. Uh, but there's, there was a confusion though of, of what love is because they're saying if someone loves you, excuse me, if someone loves you, they wouldn't do this or that or, you know what I mean? But the thing is, and I think one girl goes, oh, they can't love you if they do this or that. And I'm like, hang on. What about your parents? You see what I'm saying? What about, yeah, what about your, your parents or your family? They love you. You may not speak to them every day. You may not, um into like you know it may not you know what i mean they may you may not agree on certain things on certain days or whatever but they love you do you, do you see what i'm saying they love you unconditionally so i think what's happened here is love has become a thing where um it's been synonymous of with relationships but it's a thing where it's become a thing where it's like supposed to be this was supposed to be that, man. It's just the energy, yeah. That's all it is. It's emotion. It's energy, yeah. Love is in the middle of, you know, um, 
how can I put it? It's in the middle of. It's hard to explain that. Like, I don't explain it, but all I can say is love is an energy. That's all I can explain it for now. I'll probably do a separate video on that. But overall, what I'll give this album is a 10 out of 10. I like the way, um, obviously she's rapping, doing her thing. She has some bars that went over my head. I had to look at the genius, go to genius.com or whatever, look at the lyrics. I'm like, oh, raw, that's what she meant. And there was even a bar about Rockefeller, something about getting cheese and Rockefeller, which was interesting. It seemed like it's a, a double entendre. Yeah, because I feel like she could have also meant government cheese, like Rockefeller, given government cheese, because there were some Rockefeller people. In the, uh, if you know, you know, right? But there are some people in that family that were on the forefront within the government around that same era. So that's one thing. But then there's another side of it where there is Rockefeller Records, where they were getting cheese. Do you see what I mean? As in cheese, as in money. Do you see the double entendre? This is what I'm talking about. But then she's got other bars in there that just like, raw, did she say that? Do you know what I mean? Like, like I like that. I like that. So, yeah, it's an album that I recommend to go listen to. Um, uh, but other than that, in terms of relationships and all that stuff there, let me get back on that point. What I would recommend is that you strongly... I strongly recommend that you go to the link in the description box below to become a member of the Trust because you get access access to online courses such as roles and relationships. That's where you're gonna get all of that all that information on exactly how relationships actually work and more information on what love is and all that stuff there. You see what I'm saying? But um long story short though, I'm gonna get this album like a 10 out of 10. The link to the album is in the description box below. Um hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next because everything is everything I can't even sing. You hear me? In fact, what's your favorite song on the album? Leave your answer in the comment section below.